Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 with Brackets text editor video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. In our last video we created a little contact section here. Now below this I want to put a full width Google map. So let's go to Google. I don't really have an address for this. Um, so let's just use the Empire State Building or something like that. There we go. Obviously, if you've got an establishment, then uh, you're going to have an address. OK, that's fine. So let's embed this map. And it's really easy to do. What we need to do just hit our share button and I want to hit that embed tab right here we did this in one of our earlier videos for when we did our locations but we didn't do a full width one let's copy that code up the top there it's already highlighted for us but if it hadn't been you can just select it pull it all the way right hit control Z hit control C or right click and copy however you like to do those things now you might, might want to paste this into a notepad or if you're ready to put it straight into your text editor that's fine so let's go to our text editor um, oh that's convenient here's our contact section that we worked on last time and what I'm going to do is add another section I'm not going to give it an ID right now. I'm not going to give it a container because I I want it to be full width. I will give it a div just in case I want to do some custom CSS. I'll give it the class of map. Now inside here, just tidy that up, inside of here is where we want to paste that code that we just copied from our Google map, this code we just copied from here. So let's put the cursor where we want it and hit control V to paste. And here's that code for that actual map there. Now if we take a look at it now, it's not going to span the whole width of our site. Yeah, you see here we are, it's only taking up about a third of it. I actually want it to be the whole width here. And that is really easy to do. What we need to do is, if you look at this code, put all these lovely geo tags and what have you, blah, 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 then you get down a width. Now, instead of 600, because at the moment it's giving it 600 pixels across, or let's change that to 100 and hit, hit a percent. Now, that's telling it to fill 100% of the viewable area. So let's save that and go back. There we go, that's just exactly what I wanted right there. And that's a live Google map, so you can hit your control as it says there. Hit the control button, you can scroll in and out. And it'll pretty much give you the whole world there. If I just refresh, it should take us back to where we were at default size. that was really easy to do now I don't know if you noticed when I first came to this site it was sort of scrolled in like this which really wasn't too interesting or wherever that tag was that wherever the Empire State <laughs> building is I've gone and lost it there it is let's put that in the middle it was scrolled in 
something like this which didn't look too interesting I wanted it to scroll out so we had a bit of topography or whatever you call this stuff a bit of features on there just makes it look a little bit more interesting and where I scrolled it out to and we hit that embed code that's what it put into our site the same size so we've got those uh, the Hudson rivers and whatever the other things are around here just makes it look a little more interesting and of course now our customers have got directions to get to the site you just click on that it'll take them they can put in their address and it'll tell them how to get here so that's a pretty cool feature right there just to make it slightly more interesting not that it's not interesting right now how about if we give the section just above it a bit of box shadow just to make that stand out I mean this may or may not work you may or may not like this but let's do it just for effect and we did this in our last video so it's in our custom CSS let's just go to our custom CSS and we're already there there's our contact section now that's the whole section right there let's give it some box shadow and see what happens and let's give it say 5 pixels by 10 pixels I use this quite often by about 25 pixels a spread and we'll give it the color of say 555 which is a sort of dark grayish color let's put a semicolon behind that now let's save that go back to our site now this is this section above that we were working on right here now hopefully when I refresh we should have a little box shadow under there let's see okay I know that box shadow is there because when I refreshed I saw it I'll do it again or refresh you see the box shadow there but when the map appears it's covering that up so that means that this is in front of this where we put the box shadow on this element and this element must be on top of it so we can use a position of relative and a Z index or a Z index to push this back or to pull this forward I should say so let's do that back to that custom CSS here's that box shadow we put on let's give it a position uh, let's spell it right position <laughs> and we'll say relative it's fine and let's give it a Z index of a number um, which should pull it forward I don't want to give it too much because I've got that pop out section to the side with a, a huge number so let's just pick a random number above one let's say 22 just for argument's sake and save that go back to our site now hopefully when I refresh we should see that box shadow appear just here because this section will be will have been pulled in front of this section in theory now it should work fine there we go that's what I wanted so we've now got that box shadow over the top of our map and what I was talking about I didn't want to give it too high a number because I've got this sitting on top of everything else this little pop out section here and so had I given this section a, a higher number than this this would have ended up behind this section instead of sitting on top of everything else which is where we want it so there you go there is how to add your Google map after your contact section I hope you found that useful if you have please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in web development take one of our web development courses below we got some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers there's also some great free courses down there so take a look 
Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.